This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. In this exercise, I'm going to give you some more tips for building your Illustrator files for use in Catalyst. And to get yourself started, I need you to uh, open up the exercise folder for this section. And inside is a file called middle8ai, which I want you to open in Illustrator. And when Illustrator opens, the file will appear as a series of three artboards, which I constructed in Illustrator. And you'll notice that if I go to the uh, artboards panel, I've actually got the names of these panels in place. This is important, and you'll see why when we move over to Catalyst. The uh, other thing is, is that I want you to notice that all of the artwork for this project is located in named layers. And as I pointed out in the previous exercise, everything needs to be properly named. Make sure that when you name something, it makes sense to you. The uh, other thing I want you to pay attention to is right here, this little button. This little button is actually a symbol. Because it's a graphic and vectors, what we want to do is have it come into Catalyst in a very efficient manner. And symbol is the way to go because it's an optimized graphic. Now, the other thing that I've done here is each of these little bits and pieces for the logo is artwork that has been drawn. It's on its own layer. So if I go to the uh, layers panel, you'll see that it's inside the background layer. And it's in an area called the logo, and I've named each one character one, two, and three. Now, a couple of things you should know about artwork. For instance, if I'm using the Middle Eighth Restaurant here, and I'm using a font that not everybody has, I would convert that to outlines and then bring it into uh, Catalyst. But here, for instance, where I'm using a very common font like Helvetica, it's not worth it. You would save the uh, font just as text, and that way it's editable in Catalyst. The other thing that you want to be aware of is things like effects. We've got Photoshop effects in here. We got blurs, we got drop shadows, you got stuff like that. Be careful with them. Be very, very careful with them because they may wind up coming into Catalyst as rasterized graphics. If you need things like drop shadows and more common effects, I would recommend that you not apply them in Illustrator, but instead apply them in Catalyst. Now, once you're ready to head to Catalyst, it's real simple. You just save the file. You can quit Illustrator, and then we're just going to launch Catalyst. So we'll just give it a launch, and Flash Catalyst will load up. And what we're going to be doing here is when we hit the welcome screen, we're going to create a new project from a design file, which is that Illustrator file. So you just click the uh, link, go to your exercise folder, open the middle eight AI file, click open, and it will initialize the library that's there and immediately open up the Illustrator Import Options dialog box. Now you'll notice that the artboard size and color come in with the size and color used in Illustrator. And Fidelity Options allow me to have filters, text, gradients, and blends editable if I need them. I've got two layers in the Illustrator document, which is text under the images, which are non-visible. I'm going to use those for buttons. When I roll over, they light up. So I'm going to bring those in and include unused symbols. You may want to create a bunch of extra symbols just in Illustrator for later use in Catalyst. So you can put them in your library and just leave them there. And if you're not using them in the document, bring them in anyway, which is why you would select that. Click OK. The file is analyzed. Essentially what's happening is it's now converting your Illustrator file into a Catalyst file. And when it finishes, you'll notice it opens up. And a couple of things I want you to pay attention to. There are the artboards. I know exactly what these states are. And I'm just going to go to uh, View, Fit Artboard in Windows, so you can see. So there's the uh, main, there's the Dine In artboard, and there's the Takeout. Artboards are wonderful because they give you almost like individual pages, which are called states in Catalyst. If we go to the Layers panel here in Catalyst, now just select the uh, main layer. You can see each of the individual layers is there and everything in the layer has come in. And if we go to the project library, you'll see this thing called optimized graphics. And if you select the blue button, you'll notice that that blue button that we use in the dine in and take out areas is now in the library as an optimized graphics symbol. 
In the uh, next exercise, I'm going to show you a few more best practices around working with Photoshop and how you bring Photoshop files into Catalyst.